Hi! Welcome to my apartment. I've been living here for, um, I would say, a couple months at this point. I've been living in this building longer, but just this apartment, I just moved recently. So I wanted to show you and do the apartment tour and because I was getting so many requests and I thought that this is time to do it. So we're gonna start with the entryway, just FYI, this is a studio apartment and I live in Hudson Yards. Um, this is the shoe shelf that I got. I wanted something small and apparently that was the only thing that I found that was fitting the vibe and everything. I'm still working on adding some art wall here, but I didn't have time enough to find what I want perfectly, so this is what happened. So this was something that I got in Zara and um, the marble table, and I was using it before I got the shoe shelf, because that was the only thing that I could use. And to be honest, I kind of like it now, so I just keep my bags that I like use mostly, like on the go kind of stuff and I put it here. So that's something that just very easy and convenient. And I stacked a couple books there as well. So we are coming here and this is the kitchen, mini kitchen, <laughs> pass by kitchen, I would say. Um, I really love the marble top. I think that was one of the reasons why I moved to this apartment. And as you can see, everything is super wide. I try to organize everything as much as I can. And I will actually try to make more videos on organization because that's my jam right now. But one of my favorite things was this trays that I got at container store. And I just put all my vitamins there. It's just so much easier than having a whole mess there. And everything looks so much better. So this is Belka's bed that we have. She always sleeps by the door. So I decided that it's a pretty cool way for her to sleep here while I'm gone because at night she sleeps with me. So we don't really need that. Um, we're working on getting for her a new fear. So that's still in process. So next room we're going to is the bathroom. Um, it is the same kind of vibe with everything is white and gray because that's what I like. I love actually this stand that I got. I think that was Urban Outfitters as well. Just super easy and super convenient. Uh, my rug is there for the, the bath mat and I got it at West Elm. I think this is I got, this is something I got. Um, where did I get it? Bath and Beyond? Probably one of those. So one of my key features of the department where I love this so much is the storage that I got in the bathroom because I have so many beauty products. I mean, as fashion and beauty blogger, you get to have tons. And this is, this whole three mirrors are storages and I separated everything. So first one is for the face, second one is for the hair, and the third one is for the body. Okay, so this board has actually a long story because I've been carrying this second, it's my second apartment having. First apartment, I couldn't find a place for this. Second apartment, I actually found a place, but the problem is because there's something behind this board, it's kind of crooked. I don't care, I love the board. And it's Bridget Bardot and dog, and it's something that I stand for and I love it. My couch, I got it from Floyd. They were nice enough to send it to me uh, for, as a gifting and I obviously love this and at the moment when I was ordering it, this was the only color that was left and I kind of have doubts about mixing it with pink velvet but to be honest, it's like it makes such a big difference like you come in the evening and you see this bright couch and it's just it just fits perfect and I love it so um, I didn't think that L shape would fit in here but apparently it did and I feel like Floyd is very perfect as a brand for small New York apartments. So moving next is my favorite piece of this apartment after my bed is West Elm coffee table. The best thing ever, worth every penny I spend on it and the best thing ever. This tray I got in West Elm as well. Um, the candle I think I got, on, one is on Etsy, another one is we obviously know the brand. Um, my daily planner, which is Tiffany. I was hunting for that one for years and love it. So worth it if you're ever thinking about it. So next corner that I want to talk about is my wall art. I'm pretty sure that the shoes and the pearl is gonna go to entryway. Um, still thinking about it. But the mirror I got from Anthropology, the best investment ever. 
and this corner we have New York obviously and I have dream with the feathers it's just I don't know I kind of love this corner so um, the pillows I got at Urban Outfitters or Anthropology, I'll put the link there. But um, the white ones I got in Target, not the happiest about it. Bjorka loves it, so I'm keeping it for now. But we'll find something else in the future. I think I'm gonna go with something pink, so it kind of reflects the bed. And this one I got in Target as well, I think it was like $30, but the comfiest throw ever out there. So next corner we're moving to is my TV stand and my TV with all of the things we have. Like I love keeping boxes from stuff I get, you know, and like flowers, obviously. It's like one of my favorite things on earth. Um, one of the brands sent us this image of Bielk and me and it's like the cutest thing ever. <laughs> it looks so much like us. I'm gonna frame it at some point, just waiting to figure out where. And this Pampas I have for forever. They hard maintenance. It's really hard to look after that because every single time you gotta clean, like I think I vacuum like every other day. It's pain in my ass, but it's worth it. I just love it there. For the pictures, it's always like the best thing ever. So my closet, that was probably one of the hardest things for me to size down, but I have storage unit next to my building, so that's fine. Um, this is my closet. It's not big enough. I wish it was bigger, but it is what it is. Um, I'm trying to keep all my shoes and shoe boxes just to make sure that they're all in a good condition, you know, and they don't go bad. And then I have all my bags in there. I think I'm gonna arrange something and get like a shelf razors to raise a little bit more, you know, once I have more bags and stuff like that. And I keep like my underwear like separately, so like shoes, I mean, tops and bottoms and um, socks all different is separated in those boxes and I got them at container store my favorite place on freaking earth and it just does the work you know instead of getting a drawer that's gonna interact with my dresses there I kind of got that and it's doing the job this is my closet tiny right <laughs> so next part we're moving is my favorite bed I got it on Urban Outfitters, best thing ever. If you're ever thinking to invest into it, it's not cheap. I think I paid like 800 bucks for that, but the best thing ever. The cover is just, by the way, on the website, the cover doesn't do the justice. Like it's so much better in life. And I found this matching duvet cover at West Elm. Best purchase. I got so lucky that the shades are just reflecting each other. And so this one I think I got at Ward Market. That's my version of bedside table. It's tiny, but it fits everything in there. Um, this shell thing I got at Anthropology. It was kind of pricey, but it was just going with the vibe. And for me, that's most important at the point. So this stand, this little thing, tray, I found at CB2. And I've been wanting this for like past year and i think it was like 100 bucks but so worth it like you can work in bed you can eat in bed and it's just for the pictures it's perfect so for me that was justifying the price i guess so next one is my mural i think i got it way fair 200 bucks not the happiest i mean does the work right but other than that it's just a mural. I'm actually keeping my eye on something at West Elm. I found an amazing golden mural with marble, but I'm saving for that. So that's my next big purchase. So another thing that was one of the best purchases I had was this um, vanity table from Urban Outfitters. I think I spent like 150 bucks on it. It's not expensive, but Everyone's been asking me for like past four years that I have it. It's probably the only thing that I carry through all my three apartments that I lived in New York. And it's just one of the best things. It comes with another chair, but I got, I didn't buy the chair. I got this chair from Target. And to be honest, this is like the best thing. We can use it for the pictures and it just fits so much better here than whatever it was coming with originally, right? So, um, what else is here? I think Bjork is here. <laughs> She's so cute. So other than that, 
I feel like the rest of the stuff is very obvious. So this is our rooftop. I love this space in summer because that's what I do. I just hang out here with my friends. There is an area where you can sit. There is a huge community table that you can have. Probably gonna celebrate my birthday this year here. And this is the view you get. And in the evening, it just, it's out of this world. Like the view here is amazing. And there's a barbecue table in case if someone wants to have a barbecue. <laughs> And one of the other favorite parts of my building is that Zaha Hadid's building is like right across and it's one of my favorite buildings in the city and she's, as an architect, she is everything to me. So yeah, when it's cold, we sometimes come here for a walk with Bielka because she doesn't like to walk outside, so we kind of try to at least walk here and she's an independent agent there walking. So that's it. This is my small apartment tour. Thank you for watching and if you have any questions, please ask me. Oh.